Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh as an update to al-athari what's going on first we want to say jazakallah khairan for your continued support and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward everyone who has contributed with even one sardi riel or dollar and everyone who has supplicated for its success. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every, everyone for every bit of assistance. And may Allah wa ta'ala bless all those who have contributed to the logo, to other ideas, to platforms. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them generously who bedala juhud they actually strove to help me in these uh, achieving these endeavors and to get this going so just to give you an idea of where we're at so that everyone feels comfortable I don't want anyone to ever feel like I'm collecting money and, and doing something with it I haven't collected that much but alhamdulillah what people have, have contributed has benefited uh, it, towards the project whether it be from books, whether it be from paper, whether it be from buying a printer, and uh, to whether it be to uh, buying materials for actually the durus and, and everything as simple as even making the green screen and things like this for setting up a recording studio and what have you. So where we're at right now is we're still continuing to record. Probably the past week or two, I've slowed down a bit, which is okay, because it's it's actually been good for me to to kind of review and study a bit more. Also, I was able, alhamdulillah, with the, what people have donated to buy a few English books, which are used for the coursework, like Shara Sunnah, Imam Babahari, uh, Imam Qairawani's, uh, uh, the Al Risala, uh, you know, the Muqaddimah, and things like this that are in English, which makes it much easier for teaching. Because those will, you know, when you have to translate, I think people who are teaching, uh, you know, some of the du'a, they understand the value of not having to worry about translating so much. But when you have a source text that's already in English, that can really help uh, and help you to be able to focus your studies, your revision, and your uh, articulating knowledge. So just to give you an idea, I'm still in the process, probably two-thirds of the way finished with Aqidita uh, Atahawiya, Alhamdulillah, and that's been going really well. And I always find that when I'm recording Durus and stuff like this, you know, that it's a, it's a learning process in and of itself. And it seems like it gets better as you, you shoot because sometimes you get intimidated before starting. And then once you get in the flow, you know, you're recording, it actually begins to, uh, uh, and the durus, the quality of the durus itself, it, it begins, you get a flow. So that's where we're at right now. I'm still recording Akhidat Tahawiya. And probably after this, I will do uh, either something in fiqh or because that'll be for some of the levels I, uh, you know the the four levels I'm looking at having that uh, we're, we're moving forward anyhow it's a part of the curriculum so we're still refining the curriculum and then once I've gotten enough material significant amount of material recorded we can look at uh, you know that's when we'll, we'll start to actually get the platform up and running and, and pretty soon and be closer to actually launching so so we're making slow but sure progress may Allah bless us with tawfiq bless us with the class with the bad and, and bless all those who've contributed please continue to have us in your dua because I really feel it's very important to have more institutes of the sunnah that are propagating true Islam because there are so many for example the Sufi uh, organizations they have a lot of wealth they have a lot of uh, support. Uh, they've got pretty much all those things. And, you know, the risk is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يُعْتِي يُعْتِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيُعِزُّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ 
And he, you know, he subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to whomsoever he pleases. He withholds for whosoever he pleases. He uh, raises up whomsoever he pleases. And he yudhil, he causes to be humiliated whoever he pleases. So I think for us in continuing on, what we're trying to do is that we have to keep ourselves in a very uh, humble state humbling ourselves before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remember this project keep uh, our, our, our ikhlas to spread khair and sunnah and to uh, to go forward and also as another part of this update I found fresh uh, I didn't see this when I was coming up it looks like fresh coyote scat uh, I don't think it's a cougar I think cougars are bigger than this, but you can see the hair inside of it, so it looks like, and there's also some fresh bear scat, so we've got some animals out here we're going to need to be aware of, and here's something has run over a mole, so a mole is squashed, squashed there, so we just keep our eyes open, always be cognizant, so this is where we're at, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with a class with the bat. Bless us to be Allah Sunnah to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and bless Ahl Sunnah to rectify their issues that they have between themselves and have more ta'awan. So this is another thing that I'm really finding, you know, some brothers, some uh, some of our students of knowledge and others reaching out and we're doing some ta'awan and some even mashayikh that I'm honored. So you're going to see some, some things coming up soon, hopefully. I'm not going to mention until you see it launched. So uh, may Allah bless us with a class with a bat and... توفيق وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم